here, as I'm sure you've probably heard or read, has recently announced that they're updating the 3310, 17 years after it was first released. Colin Baker joins us now with the latest on that and some other very cool retro gadgets this morning and an even cooler suit. Well done, sir. Well, it See? suits the team anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever you, about, you know, a you party. Can, you, you can put on the Ritz when you, uh, when you put it in. Well, I have other things in my yours. wardrobe other than shiny shoes and ridiculously small T-shirts. <laughs> This is the legendary 3310 yeah, by Nokia. As you said, 17 years old. 126 this year. million yes, I think it's units sold. Yeah, it, was incredible. it was the first budget, decent, fashionable, quirky, um, reliable phone. And of course, Nokia ruled the world of phones at that time. And stage. it was the essence of, because of, uh, 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 mobile phones were enormous initially, mm. and mm. people wanted, no, make it smaller, make yeah, it more compact, yeah, make yeah, it fit yeah. in my top yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah. And, and this just, was the epitome yeah, of it. Exactly. Now yeah. we've and gone it, the other direction it, again. It had all the functionality people needed and wanted. And I said, it's the biggest function and the thing that people lament the loss of today is the standby time. No matter how funky our phones are, they last a day, maybe a day and a half. Battery length looking. for your average one of those. I remember a Three story days. recently where a chap found one of these in a, a trouser pocket, pocket that he hadn't seen the trousers in sort of 15 years and he took it out, turned it on and it was working. You're kidding. Now, I, I mean... Normal usage, about, you get about three days, if I remember correctly. I mean, look, on, a, on, on something like this, it was about a week uh, on standby. Apparently, according to Nokia, the new version of this that they're talking about is going to give up to 30 days of standby time. Right. Uh, um, OK. N Nokia 33, or Nokia 3310, uh, they reckon it'll come out around 50, 60 euros? Yeah, 50 or 60 Now, it will be a basic phone, mm -hmm. very little access to... Um, there is web connectivity. So well, there's a browser and there's an email option, apparently. But it's not an operating system like iOS on okay. your iPhone or this Android. This is for making phone calls. This is for making phone calls, sending text messages, playing Snake. Apparently there's an upgraded right. version of Snake. And it is virtually indestructible. You yes, can exactly. drop it from a skyscraper and the chances yeah. are... Apparently so. And at the end of the day, if you do manage to destroy it at a festival or out at night, it's 50 euro as opposed to 500 or 600 right. euro for some of OK. Smartphones. Now, next, um, vinyl, of course, uh, one of the few areas of the record business that, are actually, that is actually growing. Mm. People are using streaming services, etc. But vinyl has come back in, and, of course, nobody has a turntable anymore. I don't get it. So I, I, some people say this, this is, the this ion is vinyl warmer warm music oh, and, and a better tone. I think it's rubbish. But at the end of the day, I guess, music is for I mean, it's whatever people want it to be. It's an experience. But I'm a Spotify guy. I like the convenience of digital. Don't see the point in this. Spent about 15 minutes this morning trying to figure it out. This is the vinyl motion portable. You're supposed to be the gadget expert. So this is not a gadget. Out. But exactly, I mean, anyway, it's very simple. It's, but, but I mean, I, I take the point and I appreciate the value of the, the sort of the, 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 old, the, the retro nature of it and the nostalgia. Okay, let's not talk about the philosophy okay, of the sorry, music, sorry. shall we? Um, well, you, I thought you were going to help me with this. I spent ages trying to get the dust well, cap off. Well, once you said that you didn't get it, you committed hang sacrilege. No, 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 hang on a second. I can, I can do it. Hang on a second. I can do it. But this is interesting, this one, because it has, it's, it's fully portable. So it has a battery built in and it's rechargeable. It folds up into this nice little flight case. Yeah. Let's see if we can turn it up here. This is Pavarotti. This is my dad's record. He bought it for my mum 30 years ago. Well, there you go. Are you playing it at the right speed? Oh, maybe not. No, that's not it. You is know that the thing? It? It's there 45, 33 and a third. That means nothing to the me. The little small things were known as singles. They were played at 45 RPM. But think about it. Spotify, you just go on your phone, you search for what you want to search for, and it plays. You don't this need to worry This is brilliant, about actually. And by the way, this does link up to digital devices. Oh, yeah. And all you can actually plug this into your computer and digitise your old vinyl. OK, and that retails it's at about €99. Uh, Euro. And it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it. Just, it's very, very well built and good quality. Uh, now, retro games controllers. Mm. Um, they, they, they are increasingly beginning to look like computers or, or, or phones these days. Yeah, but you, yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. like the old ones, do you? Well, there's, there's something to be said for classic old retro games that you don't need a diploma in gaming to get into and there's not 300 million different controls so um, with this type of thing it's catchy it's addictive this tiny thing here has about 200 80s style arcade games built into it. Oh, really? Takes a couple of batteries. That's all there is to it. There's no console or box, and that's 20 euro. I think it just highlights the the how much technology has evolved. Yeah. That you can stuff all those old tapes and diskettes into this tiny. It doesn't 20 have to be a couple device. hundred quid to be any good. Exactly, that is the retro yeah. TV games controller. Re retails 1995 and available at the gadget store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Ooh, and of course you get 200 retro cl cl uh, classics. It plugs into any TV. Yeah. Tiny joypad controller. That 
it is. Cheap, cheap, games, cheap, cheap, cheap. Very Mario style. Right, uh, gadget number four. This is the mm. Roberts R1 uh, streaming retro radio. Now, this is one of the great devices. Mm. Well, this, uh, is, this is more my people style. people who don't have broadband and Wi-Fi, etc., and who, who want music, want access to communication, but, mm. you know, well, don't you have do, a plug socket handy. That's true, but you do actually need a plug socket for this, and you do need internet for this. But now, um, is that not the one that you can recharge? No, 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 no. Oh, this is totally different. This is Roberts. Obviously, we know Roberts from the days of the traditional 50s, 60s, well-put-together transistor radio. We used to have a Bush version of that. That's right. That's a new version actually, of we're that. Not, actually, we're, at, we're on something else here now. Um, oh, this is the Undock app that is re related to the Roberts streaming radio. This is the R1. It's about €200, Euro, and it's got the very, very much the style of the, uh, the transistor radio. And it plugs in, so there's no battery in this. But this actually acts as a Wi-Fi uh, radio, a multi-room stereo that links into the app on your phone and allows you to, con to, to link into the music you've already downloaded, Spotify, Apple Music, or any number of online radio stations. So no knob twiddling, it's all straight on your on, on your. And on your you app. control it with your phone, effectively? Straight off an app on your phone. Yes. Okay, so really, enough. really simple to use, but it's got that retro style that we kind of like. Uh, there's, you know, we, we never get too old for toys, really, do we, Colin? Not really, not really. It's uh, just the price toys. of toys that yeah. changes, Now, this is uh, the big track, 69 mm. euro. I, I never had one of these, but This is not just made we go any further, the yeah. Roberts Radio is 199. That's right, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. yeah. The, this is the big track, and I don't know if any of the viewers, or if you, if you remember this or well, recognise it, it yourself. Well, it was Tonka Tonka, this is different. This was the teched-up version of the yeah. Tonka. No, Tonka. This was released yourself. in sort of the early 80s, and it was kind of the first real computerised robotic toy. And as you can see it moving along there, what you'd actually do is you'd click on... Do you see the control panel on yeah. the top of it there? So you would set... It was built around the average size of a, a, a child's foot, and you could set go eight feet that way, turn left, go nine feet that way, and you could pre-program up to 16 instructions, and it actually came with a trailer as well, and you could actually pre-program it to drive around your house, pick up a cup of tea, and come back into you. Now, that could have been quite Those messy, things also took about 20 of those huge, enormous batteries, didn't That's they? right, the big D-sized batteries. It took me ages to find them yesterday. You spent all your birthday money just on you one. Pretty much on batteries. Now, this was a, a very much at the time, back in the 80s, this was a rich kid's toy. I didn't get to have one. I had to wait 30 years to get one, but uh, absolutely awesome device back in the day and really, really great for the, 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 the techie back 30 years ago. I can't believe you can't hear the difference between vinyl and digital. I can. It's rubbish. That's... I can completely hear it. Go away. <laughs> Just get up. It's true, Just... It's oh. basic technology. You're an utter philistine. I, mean, I realise that, but lovely I take guy. that as a compliment. Listen to me. He knows as much about <laughs> records and sound <laughs> as he does about clothes. Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> Good. Good underhanded Colin, thank you very much. compliment kind of thing. Rupert, Rupert <laughs> the bear is missing his suit. I